Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Monica Lube here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for September. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Scorpio, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Scorpio, is the Hierophant. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Cups upright. Okay. So for you, Scorpio, your biggest challenge in September is the Hierophant. Typically, the Hierophant is talking about commitment. It's talking about, you know, committing yourself to something, following the rules, following the regulations that are associated with whatever you're, you're coming into. Typically, this could be marriage. For some of you, this could be institutional. It could be, you know, um, getting an education here. We're going to clarify the Hierophant and we're going to see why it's your challenge in a moment. In the recent past, you have the Six of Cups, the Hermit, and you have the Three of Pentacles. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that there was very strong uh, energy here of memories, creating memories with a you know particular person that you were very much connected to. I do feel like there was some form of collaboration or coming together and cooperating with this person. Now, if this was someone in the past from your past, there was a lot of this overthinking, you know, why did this happen in the past? Why did we go through this situation? Why did this take place? And if there was some sort of issues between you and this person, there was this energy of cooperating, collaborating to try to make something work here in the past. And we're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and you have the Five of Cups. So in the present moment, Seven of Cups is here. Uh, so I really strongly feel there's some sort of confusion, okay, in the present moment, or there's some sort of uncertainty. And now, of course, Mercury is still retrograding, okay? Mercury is still retrograding until the 15th of September. Now, of course, you need to give it another five days after the 15th of September because Mercury needs to slow down and then move forward again. So in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that something isn't quite clear. Now, there is this feeling of a third party here. There is this feeling of trust issues. There's this feeling of an on and off energy because somebody here in the present moment, Knight of Wands could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I'm also getting a Cancer or a Pisces and maybe another Scorpio. There's still this inconsistency going on in the present moment. And we're gonna talk more about that when we clarify. In the near future, you have the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. There's new love coming in, okay? A new love is coming in or a new beginning in love is happening for you. Somebody here doesn't see it though. Whoever this is in the near future, there is this ignoring, you know, I'm ignoring my feelings. I'm ignoring this new love that's coming in. I'm pretending like it's not happening. Somebody here is super busy all the time. They're either always working, uh, and they don't have time to recognize, okay? So it's really important that if you are someone who is seeking love and you want love, to recognize when it comes in because it is coming in for you. And of course, it isn't ironic that the Four of Cups is here in terms of what you don't see coming. So yeah, again, ignoring the fact that there's new love coming in or there's an offer of love that looks very promising here, okay? So let's get into your reading, Scorpio, and let's see what's going on for you. Okay, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so the Hierophant is clarified by the star. You have the Queen of Cups and you have the Four of Pentacles. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with you. It has a lot to do with you being open to committing yourself to a particular person in the future, okay? So the question here now for you in the month of September is, am I ready to commit myself to this person? Am I ready to get married? Am I ready to really be with them? 
Okay, we have 1144 on the clock. You can check out that angel number to get more information. So your challenge has a lot to do with your future. It has a lot to do with whether or not you are going to be with this person forever. Do you see the person that you're with or the potential person that you're with, a person that you see yourself marrying or being with 100%? And that's gonna be a big part of your challenge. Can I invest 100% into this and hold on to it through thick and thin? Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is clarified by, you have the Ten of Wands, the Justice, and the Page of Wands. So in the recent past, I do feel like there was a connection that you were involved in where things started to become extremely difficult. There could have been a divorce. There could have been a separation. There could have been... Uh, for some of you, there was an opportunity to bring things back into balance and to move into a new direction. And that's why I feel for majority of you, even though there was a breakup, the tower is here, there was an opportunity for you and this person to spend time on your own and then eventually come back around and work things out here in the past. Tell me more about the three of pentacles in the recent past for Scorpio. You have the lovers of six of cups and the chariot. Yeah. So it's almost like even though there was issues between you and this person in the past, you still got it together and you got back on, on track here in the past. Now in the present moment, it looks as if there's still some sort of confusion in relation in regards to this relationship that you're involved in. Tell me more about the seven of cups for Scorpio in the present moment. So you have the queen of wands, the four of swords, and you have the five of swords. So in the present moment, it's very clear here that somebody feels, okay, this is what I'm getting for you, Scorpio, could be this fire sign you're dealing with, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting a, another water sign, a Scorpio here, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody here is questioning in the present moment if they are the only person. Is there another woman, another man involved? Does this person really love me? Why are they so confused? Why are they so on and off with me? And this could just simply be the fact that Mercury is retrograding right now. And it is affecting your seventh house because Mercury currently is in Virgo and it is actually trining Taurus right now, which is in your seventh house. So even though Mercury is not really debilitated, it is in a way because it is going retrograde and that is what's leading to some sort of confusion in regards to a relationship that you're involved in. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands in the present moment for Scorpio. Why is it here and what do they need to know? So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Magician. You have the Fool and you have the Ten of Cups. So in the present moment, there's this feeling right now, Scorpio, of, you know, I want to have a new beginning with you. I want to manifest this with you. I want long-term happiness. I want all of this. So somebody here, whoever this person is that's on and off, whether this is you or your person, I feel like this is your person. This is someone who is, it's almost like they're only around when there is the sexual aspect of the relationship when the passion is there. And once that's gone, there is this question of, well, is there someone else? Is there somebody else that my person is potentially entertaining? Uh, am I competing with this person? Because there's a lot of fear here. You know, what if things don't work out between my person and I? Tell me more about the five of cups in the present moment. Some of you are choosing to have a new beginning with this person. You don't care if there's competition because you're very confident. That could also be the case as well too. You have the Six of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. So for those of you who extremely need the reading, like you really need it, there's issues going on right now. Somebody here is choosing to disconnect from the relationship, okay? It is either has already happened or it may be in the process of happening in the present moment. Whoever this person is, and it could be you, Scorpio, a lot of you are choosing to disengage or your person's choosing to disengage because they do not want to open themselves 100% to this unless there is clarity on where it's going. Okay. And this is why the Hierophant is your challenge because the Hierophant is about commitment. It's about a serious commitment. Oftentimes it talks about marriage, like the, the traditional form of marriage. So this person in the present moment is saying, especially just because we just had the moon, the full moon, the blue moon. Okay. There it is in the present moment. It's still there. 
somebody here doesn't see completely what's going on or what is going to happen. And this is why they're disconnecting from you until they can gain some sort of clarity on whether or not this is real because they're not going to waste their time. Whoever this person is, you or your person, take it as a resident. Somebody here is not going to waste their time because their idea of happiness is not inconsistency. It's not, oh, you know, this week we're together this week and we're going to have a fun weekend and that's it. Whoever this person is, they're all in or they don't want it. Okay. And this is the, the point in which we're getting to because this new beginning that's happening in the present moment is one that is going to lead to the 10 of cups. Otherwise, if it doesn't lead to the 10 of cups, cause that's what whoever this person is, they're manifesting that right now. They're manifesting completion. They're manifesting a real family, a real relationship, a real marriage. Otherwise it's a waste of their time. And this is why there's this uncertainty here because there's this, well, what if there's another woman? What if there's another man? What if this person's entertaining this person and that person? And this is what I'm seeing is the issue right now in the present moment. Now in the near future, there's new love coming in, or there's a beginning of love blossoming. It's finally going to the next level here. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups in the near future for Scorpio. <clears throat> Two of Wands, Seven of Wands in the Temperance. So you see somebody here has a choice in the near future. All or nothing. All or nothing. And although this is taking time to happen, it's taking time to happen because by the end of September, something hits... How do I say this? Something is going to hit a point in which a decision has to be made. Otherwise, if a decision isn't made, there's going to be an assumption that maybe you don't really want me. And this is why conflict may happen in terms of what you don't see coming, because there's this fear here of rejection. There's this fear of, well, I don't know if I want to commit to you. I don't know if I want to do this. And, and if you're in that energy or your person's in that energy, this is what creates some sort of conflict. Because like I said, somebody here is all or nothing in the near future. Tell me more about the King of Wands for Scorpio in the near future. And I did talk about this in your previous reading. It's just showing up again because it means clearly that an issue hasn't been resolved between you and this person. Uh, Page of Swords. So yeah, somebody here's questioning in the near future. Do they want me? Do they not? Well, what if they're cheating? What if they're lying? What if there was someone else? What if this? What if that? So there's a lot of insecurity here in the near future, possibly from your person. Okay. The reason why relationship may come to an end in the near future, and this is something that you need to know, Scorpio, is because somebody here acts like they're too independent. And I talked about this to cancer, okay? So you could have cancer somewhere in your chart or you can be dealing with a cancer. If you are, I highly recommend watching that video. In the near future, I really strongly get that you and this person are gonna have a face-to-face. -face. It's like you and this person see each other for who you are, but somebody here is super passionate about this. They want this. The more they feel pushed away in the near future, the more they feel ignored, the more they feel like they're an option, the more likely it can come to an end. And this is something that you need to be aware of, okay? So let's get some advice for you. What's the advice? You have the Magician, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords with the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Your biggest piece of advice, Scorpio, has a lot to do with whatever it is you're manifesting, okay? And whatever it is you're manifesting, here's the Magician. The one thing that you need to recognize when it comes to manifesting whatever it is that you want, that means creating your reality, is you need to be decisive on what you want. If you in your mind want one thing, but your heart wants something completely different, these two are not in sync. They need to be in sync. We live in a dual reality. What does a dual reality mean? It means that we have night and day. We have up and down. We have boy and we have girl. We have hot, we have cold. So when you start to learn the elements and you learn the way this realm works, that's when you're going to be able to manifest and create what you want. But when you're indecisive, you don't know what you want. One minute you want this, then you want that. 
it creates a lot of confusion and uncertainty. Your biggest piece of advice is if you truly want something 100%, you need to make sure you're committing to it 100%. This is why your challenge is the higher font. You can have it all. You can have everything that you want. But when your mind and your heart are not in sync and they're not working together and one wants one thing and the other wants another thing, it creates confusion. And this is what leads to you not getting what you want. So your biggest piece of advice here is to recognize when your mind is in one place and your heart is in another place that you need to have these two in alignment. And when they are in alignment, that's when it leads to your full manifestation. Okay. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.